Hi, sweetlings! It's me again, Yuli. Today's episode is very special because I'm going to be talking about health. And this video will be my first video about health niche. If you remember, I made a community poll on my community tab asking you guys ano yung unang pwede kong gawin for my health content. And it's the teething babies that won sa poll na yun. And I am a registered nurse here in the Philippines and I'm also a first-time mom. And experience ko na din po yung pagnilipi ng babies. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing you guys my knowledge about feeding babies, its designs, the remedies, that you can help soothe your babies while nagnilipin sila. But before we start, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell para kapag may bagong video ko, kayo yung unang makakita. Let's start! Before po tayo mag-start sa topic, first-time mom or first-time parents, I want you to understand na every baby is different, every baby is unique, May mga babies po na wala silang gaanong iniinda kapag nag-ngipin po sila. Mapapansin mo na lang po na nag na pala yung ngipin niya. And may mga babies din na napaka-fuzzy, napaka-clingy kapag nag po sila. So, kailan ba talaga nagsta-start yung pag ng baby? Susunod po natin yung libro. Feeding usually starts at 4 months. Sometimes over 12 months. But, May mga kilala akong mommies na 3 months pa lang nagingipin na yung babies nila. But most babies, feeding usually start at 6 months. Ano-ano po yung mga sintomas na nagingipin na yung baby mo? Ang most common sign ng pagingipin ng baby is falling gums, crying, fuzzy, irritable, decreased appetite. Naglalaway at nilalagay po nila yung daliri nila sa bibig nila. Sometimes my slight fever. The normal body temperature is 36.5 to 37.5. Kapag sasabihin natin slight fever, that will be 37.5 to 37.9. If mapapansin nyo na my slight fever yung baby, maganda po na i-practice natin na iti-take down notes natin yung date, oras, at ano yung temperature ni baby sa kanyang baby's book. Kasi kapag magpapacheck up po kayo sa pediatrician ninyo. So, yan po yung isa sa mga itatanong ng pediatrician nyo. Kailan nag-start yung um, fever niya at ano yung usual result ng fever niya. Yung baby ko, nag-start po siya nag-ngipin. Eight months po siya. Napaka-irritable po niya. Napaka-fuzzy. And napaka-clingy po. And kapag yung babies nyo, pareho sa baby ko, nat talagang napaka-fuzzy, clingy. These are the remedies na pediatrician approved and effective na mag-help na mag na baby mo while nagtitiling sila. Home remedies that are pediatrician approved and effective. The first effective remedy is giving them chilled teething toys. Reminder lang po, wag yung ibigay sa babies nyo yung mga toys, teething toys na may lamang jelly or tubig sa loob. Baka po mag-tear po siya at makonsume po siya ni baby. Huwag din po yung mga teething necklace kasi baka po ma-struggle si baby at macho po siya. Shielding your teething toys, make sure na it's clean and kapag yung teething toys na nabili niyo, pwede siyang sterilize sterilize niyo po yung teething toys ni babies. And if yung mga nabili mong teething toys hindi siya pwedeng sterilize, you can always wash it with the soapy warm water. Lagay niyo po siya sa ziplock or clean container. Then, ilagay niyo po sa chiller ng refrigerator niyo. Also, make sure na kapag nag-play si baby sa mga teething toys niya, make sure na nagbabantay ka or may bantay si baby. Kasi kapag si baby nasa floor and nag-play sa teething toys niya, hinahagis nila yan minsan yung mga teething toys nila at kinukuha nila ulit at pinapasok ulit sa bibig nila. Iwasan po natin yung mga incident na ganito ka Kasi ito po yung usual reason why may nakukuha si baby bacteria and virus. Hindi clean yung hands nila at hindi clean po yung toys nila na pinapasok nila sa bibig nila. This can lead to cough and colds, fever, and worse, diarrhea. If it happens na may ganito, may cough and colds, diarrhea, and fever si baby, make sure na pinapacheck up nyo agad si baby sa pediatrician nila. 
The second effective remedies na pwede niyong gawin para sa nagtitiding na babies niyo is by making a breast milk pop. Bili lang kayo ng parang ice cream molder. Lagay yun ng breast milk niyo. Tapos lagay nyo sa refrigerator niyo. Now, just take note na sometimes frozen stuff it can also be harmful to baby's mouth. Especially kapag kakakuha nyo pa lang sa freezer tapos bigay nyo agad kay baby. Dahil po napakalamig pa niya, dum minsan dumidikit po yan sa gums ni baby. Sometimes nakakakos po siya ng sore sa mouth ni baby. So, before you give it to your baby, make sure na tinotow nyo muna ng sandali bago nyo siya ibigay kay babies. The next effective remedy na pwede nyo gawin sa mga babies over 6 months old, which means na yung baby kumakain na ng solid foods, is by giving them frozen or chilled towels. By far is the easiest kasi kukuha lang kayo ng clean towel, soak nyo sa distilled water. Huwag kalimutan na pigain yung towel. Tapos ilagay nyo sa clean container or ziplock. And ilagay nyo sa freezer or chiller ng refrigerator nyo. Follow safety protocol for the frozen towel and for the chilled towel. I-massage sa gums ni baby. You will notice na ibabite ni baby yung finger mo na nakarap na nakarap sa towel or sometimes sinasak nila yung towel. Just let them be kasi clean, kasi distilled water naman yung ginamit natin. Next is by giving the baby 6 months old teething biscuits. Give them teething biscuit. Mas maganda po na gawa nyo yung teething biscuit. If nagbe-breastfeed pa kayo kay baby, mas maganda na gumawa na lang kayo ng teething biscuit na gamit yung breast milk mo. You can check on the Pinterest. May madami pong website na may libreng recipe about teething biscuit na gamit yung breast milk. Meron din na hindi but healthy. Bu pwede din bumili kayo ng teething biscuit. Giving your babies chilled fruits and vegetables. You can put chilled fruits sa mga ganito. Ito yung ginagamit ko noon. Kung noong nagtititing po siya, nilagyan ko po yan ng mga chilled fruits na appropriate or pwede na sa mga babies na age 6 months old. Good example po dito is yung bananas, avocados, sweet potato. Pwede nyo din po na ipuree mo na yung vegetables and fruits and ilagay nyo sa silicone molder, ilagay nyo sa freezer nyo. And if na frozen na siya, ilagay nyo sa ziplock or clean container para anytime na magtitiding si baby, ilagay nyo lang siya sa ganito. If yung baby is 6 months old na and kumakain na ng solid food, Always, always practice health hygiene. I also want to include few reminders to all parents. Reminder lang, no, sa mga mamis na bumibili na titing gel, make sure na yung titing gel recommended by your pediatrician. I don't really recommend you guys giving titing gel to your babies kasi most of the time, hindi po siya nag-work. And to those moms na bumibili ng paracetamol kapag yung bibi niya nag, uh, may fever, make sure na pinapacheck up nyo muna yung babies nyo sa pediatrician niya kasi dapat po correct yung dose na binibigay niya sa babies nyo na nakakakalculate ng tama according to your baby's weight and to your baby's age. Para po hindi siya magiging harmful sa liver ng babies niyo. If may mga questions pa kayo or information na pwedeng idagdag sa ano yung topic natin today, you can always leave a comment below. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell. Kasi on my next video, turo ko po sa inyo kung ano yung pwede niyong gawin pag may lagnat yung baby niyo. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and suggestions. And you can also take a screenshot of that comment, share it on your Instagram story, and tag me. And get the chance to be featured on my next video. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you guys on my next video. Bye sweetlings! Take care!